Hello, hello, hello. I was in Minnesota recently. I popped into SR Harris, of course. And today you're going to see the smallest fabric haul ever from SR Harris. I'm Sharon, welcome to my channel, a channel where we talk all about sewing. While this might not be the smallest SR Harris fabric haul ever, it's probably the smallest one that I have ever done. I do tend to stack up on the fabric, especially now that I live so far away. Now that I've established that this is probably my smallest fabric haul ever from SR Harris, let's have a look at what I picked up. In a previous video, I shared with you that I'm working on this jacket. Well, I'm not really working on it yet. I'm gathering fabric for it. About 1816. I already had a couple pieces of fabric from my stash picked out, and I stopped at Esther Harris to see if I could find a few more that would go along with what I had already chosen. The first one I picked out is this beautiful piece. It's a Mikado. Now, this is not a silk. A lot of times, Mikado is a silk fabric. Uh, from what I understand, it's used a lot in bridal. It's like a twill. It actually... <laughs> Does that sound like scraping on a chalkboard? I won't do that to you. It's got a tiny little bit of texture to it. Here, I'll bring it up and see if you can tell. I remembered that I had purple chosen for my jacket, but I cut it home and this is the wrong color purple. The purple that I already have, the taffeta print that I shared in a previous video, is more of a violet, more of a, a berry color. This, it, it's, it doesn't work. So. I love the fabric. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, two yards. It's kind of a fancy fabric. It ravels terribly, as you can see. Here, let me fold it so you can get a sense of what it's like. Isn't that beautiful? I do think it's a gorgeous print. They had this print in a polyester print, blouse weight also, that I almost purchased and then I remembered that I have polyester prints here that I don't use because it's too warm. Since it's not gonna work for this jacket, and that's what I get for not bringing a swatch with me, right? I don't know what I'm going to do with it, so just stay tuned to the channel. Eventually, I will come up with an idea and sew it up. By the way, I was at the location where you measure and cut the fabric yourself. That's the larger location in the northern suburb, and you measure and cut five yards or less yourself, unless it's a silk or other specialty fabric, and then you write it on this little orange dot how much you cut and what the um, cost per yard is. And every fabric at SR Harris is 50% off the marked price. It's just their marketing strategy. So this was two yards at $11.99 yard, 50% off. I got two yards. So basically this two yard piece cost me $11.99. Next, I picked up a rayon Shelley. I was looking specifically for rayon Shelley prints and I was actually a little bit disappointed that I did not find a lot there. Well, that caught my attention. So this one, let's see, where's my little orange tab? I have four and a half yards. It was $11.99 a yard, so I paid $6 a yard. And this one is a little bit of a boho print. I love that bold blue. I love the little ditzy flower on it and the stripe. I bought four and a half yards because I knew I wanted to do a dress with ruffles or big sleeves or I just didn't know which pattern and so I knew four and a half yards would give me plenty of fabric to work with and then if I wanted to match stripes I could match stripes and really another reason I bought so much of it is my husband actually really really likes this print. Now that it's home and I've been looking at it I think I might do the style arc hope dress. Let me just show you a little bit of the drape. It's a nice weight nice drape Rayon Shelley. This one is a cotton lycra blend. Mini chuck. It's actually quite heavy because I've got a lot here. What did I buy? I bought, oh, I bought everything that was on the bolt. I bought four and three eighths. It was $11.99 a yard, so $6 a yard. This one I bought for that jacket. This particular jacket that I shared earlier, this is completely lined and completely reversible. I thought this would work really well on the reverse side and cotton is one of the recommended fabrics. I can tell as I'm pulling fabrics together that I'm gonna need to be pretty cautious on what I'm choosing because holding this piece at just four and three eighths yard, is that what I said? It's pretty heavy. And if this is one side of the jacket and then I start getting heavy fabrics on the other side, it's not gonna be easy to sew for one thing and it's not gonna be comfortable to wear. I might have to rethink my strategy on fabrics for the other side. Or this might just be too heavy to use for the reverse side. Oh, sometimes I wish I would think it through while I'm actually in the store. Now that I'm holding it, 
it's pretty heavy. It's a really nice weight. It's a really nice piece of fabric. It's probably why there wasn't very much left of it. It might end up being too heavy for a reversible coat. And if that's the case, I think it would be a super cute, I don't know, what about a little trench coat? That could be pretty cute too. We'll see. This piece of fabric was in with the quilting cottons. And if you are a quilter or you like to work with quilting cottons, Esther Harris has got rows and rows and rows and rows of quilting cottons. Now this one I picked up, can you see the print? I think I've got it upside down, don't I? Here. So that tells me it's a one-way print. It says army on it. The reason I picked this up is because I do have a family member that is in the army and this is, I don't want to tell you what it is only because it's going to be a surprise. This was $10 a yard and this is one of them that was marked no further discount. So if you're shopping at SR Harris and you see that, all that means is yes, fabrics are always 50% off, but if they say no further discount, the price marked is what you pay. So I have four yards of this and it was $9.99 a yard. Probably my biggest purchase there, but I don't care. It's going to be a pretty awesome gift. The last piece of fabric I purchased is this knit. I was looking for knits while I was there. I didn't really see anything that drew my attention there. <laughs> I don't know the fiber content. But it's got a really nice recovery. It's a little sheer. Um, it's got a tiny little print to it. Do you see that? This would be a great color going into fall. And I can see that I bought way too much. I think I was thinking that I was gonna do another Clamelli dress. And I'm not sure that I need a dress for the fall. I wonder if this would work for a Concord tee, maybe long sleeves, maybe I'll hack it and do like a puff sleeve and narrow here. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I think I got about three yards here. It's definitely gonna be a knit top. I just don't know which one yet. But wait, there's more. Let me explain. First of all, SR Harris has two locations. There's one in the northern suburbs, the Great Big Warehouse, where I purchased all of these. And there's one in the southern suburbs of the Twin Cities. It's a little bit smaller. Well, I had no plans on going to the other location. However, the next day I realized I forgot to buy buttons. That was one of the whole reasons I was going to SR Harris. I had a project I was working for. You'll see it pretty soon. It's my next Fabricista make for Fabric Mart Fabrics. Well, I needed some buttons and I didn't have time to order buttons. All of that just to tell you that I did indeed purchase just a little bit more when we went to the other SR Harris location. I'm happy to report I found the buttons. They were a perfect match for this project and I can't wait to share the project with you. While I was there, I noticed all of these kits from Craftsy and Blueprint. SR Harris must have been one of the stores that bought out the inventory when those closed. I bought three kits. But let me share with you what they are. The first one is embellished pillows pattern. It is a pillow kit for $11.99. No further discount, but look at what's included. Here, let me pull this out. It's gonna make some noise. This is just the cover. So in the package, this is just shows you what's in there. I have two yards of fabric yards of beautiful cotton fabric. Well, that alone, in my opinion, is worth the $12. And then I have the pattern, the instructions are included here. And then there's this yarn for the tassels on the corner of the pillow. And then there is an embroidery hoop, embroidery needles, gold, metallic, is that embroidery thread? Must be and thread to sew the pillows. I mean, for $12, I think that's a pretty good deal. The next kit I picked up cost me $14.99 and it is this one. It is Quilt Block Gallery Wall Pattern. And let me show you what came with this quilt. Okay, Ooh, something fell, I wonder what it was. I love these bags, these are great. When you cut out your projects, put everything in here, seal it up, and when you're ready to sew, it's right there, ready to go. Let me grab what just fell. I'm back. Okay, for $14.99, I have the pattern. That's the pattern to make these four. I just dropped something again, I'll get it in a moment. And then I have all the fabric that I need. I've got the, oh, we're stuck there. 
I'm not gonna open this, but this is all the fabric that's needed for those projects. And this must be the backing fabric, warm and natural batting, and quilting needles and thread. And one thing that fell, hang on. And dowel rods, so you can hang the little quilts. Not bad for $15, right? This last kit I bought was also $14.99, and this is the pattern. And let's see what came with this one. Let's see if I'm gonna drop stuff again. Okay, so that is just the cover sheet showing me what is in there. And I'm stuck. Here's the pattern, tells me all the materials that I need. Here's the fabric for the project, all the colors that I need. This must be the backing material because there's a little bit more of it. Wait, what's this? Oh, fusible. I got some interfacing, fusible interfacing. I have the warm and natural batting, and I also have thread. Again, $15 for the kit. I think that's a pretty good deal. And that, my friends, is my smallest fabric haul from SR Harris ever. You know, if you enjoy fabric haul videos, I have quite a few of them. I'll link that above and in the description box below. Check them out. Maybe you'll be inspired. Until I see you in the next video, I hope you have a blessed day and happy sewing. I was looking for knits while I was there. I, hmm, I can't do that without looking. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. This is irrelevant. Let's get to the fun stuff. Now that we've established that this is my smallest pattern haul ever. No, that's not a pattern haul. It's a fabric haul. Take two. And then there is this, um, why did my mind just go blank? Again, $15 for the quilt.